What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to a gameplay preview of War Mongrels launching on the PC on Steam and the Epic Game Store this week, October 19th, 2021, for a price of $45 with a launch week discount. As always, full disclosure, they sent me a copy. This is an isometric real time tactics game. Let's hop in here to mission three and see what that means. If you know what that is, we're gonna see if it's any better or worse than the other games in the genre. And if you don't know, I'm gonna try to explain what this game does. If there's one thing you need to know about Eivold, it's that he thrived in chaos. For him, disobeying orders was as natural as breathing. He never cared much about anything. Just lived, trying to enjoy the living in his own ways. But what happened in Panari changed him. He could no longer ignore the atrocities he had witnessed. So when Lucas asked for our help with his next mission, Avald immediately agreed. So this is a pretty good looking one of these, first and foremost. I have a squad of three at the moment. I am hiding here. This is a based on historical events World War II game where we have some German soldiers who defected from the Nazis. And I picked up one Polish soldier with me here as well but right now this is where we are at uh, also this studio somewhat controversial to put it lightly but again i'm here to say is this a good game or not and put that studio stuff aside but do your own research on that stuff all i'm gonna say so be that as it may we are here to do some dirt and right now the goal is to infiltrate this base and I am currently hiding here in the woods. I am crouched, and I can hit H here to say, all right, where can I interact with things? So there was a guy here, and he is no longer among the living. I can choose to move either the, the whole squad, or I can move just one, and they all have their own different abilities and different types of business there. Now, importantly, in any kind of real-time tactics game, it is, is, it is the vision cones. So each soldier here, each enemy soldier, gonna have a vision cone. And the white means they can see you. The lines at the end of the white means if you're crouching or crawling, they won't see you doing the dirt. If you've played games like Shadow Tactics or Desperados or Commandos, this should all seem very familiar to you in terms of the gameplay mechanics. So I'm gonna choose just one dude here, Manfred, and I'm gonna crawl him over here to this area, this guy here, because he has the whistle. And sound and being stealthy, very important. Now, one thing I've noticed in playing the first bit of this game is that occasionally the pathing of the AI, when you say, all right, go here, occasionally the pathing is not the best. But I should mention this game is not out yet. Therefore, I don't know what the day one patch may or may not have for this product. But right now, I'm going to try to head right here to the edge of this and use my whistle. And you can see the big circle here is the cone of sound. So I only want one dude hearing this whistle. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move up here and he's gonna come investigate. And I will then, wait, no. All right, so the other important part of these games is the quick save and quick load. And I botched that pretty hard, so being able to quick save and quick load uh, is very, very important in terms of the gameplay stuff. So that didn't quite work. All about finding your own play style and deciding what's going to work best for how you want to play this game, because there are a number of options. Now, obviously, I have a gun, and I can shoot things. Guns are very loud. Everyone will hear that in the area, and you don't want the whole army coming down on top of you if you could possibly, possibly help it. 
So let's try... Yeah, alright, so now it's, it's white. So we're gonna try getting this watch in his... This, it's an X there, so if, if we can get this... This tree in the way is a problem. Alright, so let me move my guy where he's still under the brush here. Like that. And I'm just barely out of his vision cone. Alright? Toss that watch. Now he's seen the watch. He will go look at the watch. Right now, I can tab. Then I can hit knife. Then I can click on you and say run there and stab, and then I can execute on that. Well, he didn't quite stand up, but that didn't quite work. So occasionally the game does not really do what you want it to do, which is unfortunate, but... Alright, so he over there saw that, and that was a problem. Always problems. Always problems. So again, we F9 and get in here. Now, I also have, obviously, other guys. So F2 brings us to Ewald, and he has a bottle. Tooth Toss and the Moonshine will distract and lure the opponent. So we're going to try using him instead for this particular guard to get knocked out and have him get toasted in the game. Now, this is a little weird in the fact that all of the voice acting is in English, even though these are Germans and other various Europeans here. So that's a little weird. They're talking in English, but occasionally saying words in German. That's a little bit strange, but that's that was the design decision of the team, so it kind of is what it is at, at a certain point. Not It's not exactly authentic, but uh, for a wider audience gameplay thing, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so yes, we're going to get him on that. How far does this guy see? Okay, so he'll see you if you're standing up there. We want to not have that, and we also want to make sure this guy here does not see any shenanigans, but he moves. So you wait until he moves, and then we should be okay on him talking to this guy here will be a distraction. So ideally, you want to use your variety of soldiers to make things happen on a different scale here. Tab. Alright, so in tab it goes super slow-mo. We're gonna hit fist. We're gonna hit this. We're gonna say, get there fast, and then... He didn't do it. Why didn't he do it? Why did see now? There, I got him, and now I can hide the body in the bush here, and it's fine. So, control, drop, space. That didn't go quite how I planned it to go. So, again, there are some kind of just weird control issues here that I'm not sure if rebinding it would would fix those issues or if there's another thing I I could be doing. But, alright, no doors. You can hide guys quickly in the no doors. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm still heading in this direction. There is some wire here that my guy can cut. You can see his little, his, his, his little portrait there to cut that wire, which is fine. Uh, but right now, what we want, yeah, okay, is to take out two guys at the same time. And I can do that with this one bottle. Like, I can quickly kill two opponents that are standing next to each other. But it's going to be still a little bit tricky. So, again, importantly, F8, quick save. Now, how far... Alright, he does not see past this line here. Which should be fine if we wait for this to happen. This to happen. We go right here. Tab. And then bottle. And then these two. And then go. Go. Like that. And no one was the wiser here in War Mongrels. That is the essence of real-time tactics. Obviously, it gets more complex than that as you add more characters and their different varying abilities. But our goal right now is to get this guy right here. So how we deal with that currently, I'd say generally, if you're comparing this to a game like Desperados 3, which is excellent, it's not quite on that level. It's still pretty good. But there are some just weird control things that I'm not quite used to having played that game and then played this game. Like, that that game was a lot more intuitive, I felt, thus far. Again, it's not out yet, so things have changed with a patch on day one. But as of right now, it's a little bit like, yeah, it's there in a way, but there are some things that are kind of not quite where I would prefer them to be 
with the controls and how things operate, but perhaps that is all just me. Like, again, I'm not going to say it's the worst, but there are some issues that I've come across. Now, there, there, there also is a combat mode here, where if you go into combat mode, which is C, you become much more aggressive and can, can just have a big old shootout. Now, I've found that that does not particularly, like, the camera does not really control great on that. And again, the game's not out yet. But from my thing, having played a bit of it, uh, I'm like, yeah, this is, it, it's there, and it's, it's definitely a differentiator in terms of gameplay, but I didn't quite find it totally uh, good in my very limited experience here. I have not played... The whole game so of course there are you know things to discuss if i've done that but at the moment that's kind of where i'm at with uh war mongrel so now getting rid of this dude gonna depend on this dude over here and what he can see in his cone of vision and the timing on that window so we have a bear trap here which is uh gonna howl in pain and cause a distraction we don't want it a distraction we have a stone that will get them for a moment. And obviously a gun. Oh, actually, actually, this gun, uh, these guys, they're not going to hear that. They're not going to hear that. I can just like shoot him and that might actually work right here if nobody sees it. But here's the problem. We fast save, we shoot him, then you run. Run! Ah, crap. Nope, nope, nope. Get here, get here, get here, get here. Drop him. Crouch. That actually worked. That actually worked. So, they didn't hear that, but they heard me running here. And you can see now, get into the base. So I'm almost there to my goal here, but I need my dude who can do the uh, wire cutting, which is Manfred. So F1 for Manfred. He's over here somewhere. And these bushes over here. And we're good. So again, you don't have to kill everyone, but, you know, it's uh, at your own discretion what tactics you use here in World War II. Let's make sure this guy does not see what we're doing here as we cut this wire, and we crawl across here, and we're good on... All this should be good in, in terms of crawling, so that should be fine. Like, they ain't gonna see that. I'm a crawl to... I fall on that. It should be okay, but we're gonna, we're gonna wait until he turns around to actually A, fast save, and B, control click on the wire cutting. So, do that, do that, do that, and there we are. So now, we can get into this base, which is our first mission in this mission. Our first main objective in this mission. And let's see how that goes with this pipe. Oh, just a door. Okay. Uh, Alright. So, here's the new problem. Is that we need to get into these bushes right here. These alarm switches. I think I should be able to disable. Crouch! Just a little cut here and there. You son of a gun. Alright, he said alarm. That's way, way, way over here is the plan. All right. And you can see, plenty of people to shoot, and people to murder, and people to work around here and do your real-time tactics around in War Mongrels. I've given a very basic, very basic overview of the game, but again, it's all about how you want to play it. So you can be kind of either as quiet or as loud as you would like. Obviously, being loud is a problem, but you can do it. I'm not saying you can't be way way harder to do so so ideally is a, a lot of stealth creeping around and making that business happen so get in the door get in the door thank you much and we wait on this guy to not see us coming out of this uh pipe here so some of that there we go yes so i'm regrouping here uh, this guy's only looking over here. And this guy's... Alright, you got a guy here walking. Dead man walking. And Lucas now can go... Well, this dude here is still looking. Looking and looking and looking. 
So we don't want him looking at his coin in this door, ideally. But if you've played games in this genre, then this should all seem very, very familiar. So whether or not this looks worth it to you is up to you, considering the history of this studio and other such factors uh, that might sway that particular bit of business for you. I am very curious where this story is, is going to lead and how things play out in the grand scope of the game. Whether or not I'll have time for that in the next couple of weeks, we'll see. But also a crane. So that's definitely, hey, climb up here and drop that on these two guys here. You can see the, the red outline there to get those guys squished. But of course, that's going to have to get there with all of these individuals. And right now it's like get way over here to this part of the base, which is pretty far. So that, my friends, is a very brief look, a very brief preview of War Mongrels coming out on uh, Tuesday this week on the PC on, well, on Steam and the Epic Game Store for $45 with a launch week discount. I am your host, The Tax Lug. More videos on this channel, and I will see you next time right here, and I'm out.